Incoming customer detected. Keep your eyes open, boys. We need to have a serious talk! Hello my fellow cutters, welcome once again to Blind Gamer Plays. My name is Ira and I hope that you're having a very good day. We are in Hard Space Shipbreaker, <laughs> which is a game that I've played the uh, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, um, before they did the new patch to uh, revamp everything. Uh, and I have not really played around with it a whole lot ever since. Um, and I thought, you know, I've been in the mood to play this game. Sometimes it's fun to just kind of zen out and um, break ships down, you know, <laughs> and uh, just kind of mess around with it a little bit. And I uh, thought, well, you know, let's go ahead and play it together and see how it goes. I do have a character that I've started. Um, this one I have at uh, Certification 4, I think, at the moment. Let me see. Yeah, I'm still just in the beginner stages of things because they did do the reset of everything. Um, so, you know, everybody started off at zero again. Um, but I, I'm not planning on starting one over again just because the beginning of the game is basically the same as the end of the game. It's just you have to access to different um, materials and different equipment that you didn't have at the beginning. Um, and it's a little bit of a pain to get it to this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it with the, the character that I currently have. Right now we do have tethers open, thankfully. <laughs> Took me a bit of time to get there, but we do have the tethers open, which is helpful. Um, but as you can see, we haven't really upgraded very much. Everything is still pretty much back, uh, you know, at the beginning stages of things. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look and see what we can do here and have a little bit of fun. So we don't have any ships in the bay. We'll go ahead and get a new one. Um, right now, the only thing we have access to, if of course, is the mackerel. So let's see. Ah, sure, we can do this one. That'll be fine. Okay. And I will say that I do have it so that the shift is not timed, and I do have oxygen active. Um, but I do it that way because, you know, having that time limit, I don't know, for, for someone who's um, got no issues, I suppose that it's it can be really good. But I have discovered that because of my vision issues, it does make it a little bit more difficult for me to do. We should crack some beers and share what we do when we get out of the red and start actually making profit from salvaging. Hard to figure when anyone's gonna hit that point, though. Weaver's been at this 20 years, but he's slipped back into debt thanks to foreman training. DT sends most of her money back home to New Manila. Transfer goes through links, of course, and the fees are huge. Kaito, well, he's a good person, uh, but just hasn't really taken to the work. He's been warned that he's a low earner. And me? I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. Once I hit zero, I'm gonna work maybe another year or two and just bank it all. All I want is enough to get one of those mining skips for belt running. Still so many rich rocks along the frontier line. Eventually hire some friends from back on the Iris platforms above Mars. So many good folks who just can't get work. Don't know when that'll be though. Every time I think I'm earning at a steady clip, the company finds another fine or fee to slap on. Anyway, <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. Happy cutting. Blue out. Happy cutting indeed. So it's kind of nice they've added the little bit of lore things uh, to the game. I don't mind that at all. The more the merrier. I enjoy that kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to flip that switch and... Right there is the fuel tank, right? Yep. That would be the fuel. So that's where we need to be very cautious. <laughs> be very careful of that. So we're low enough level that I don't think we're going to encounter any of the uh, new radiation hazard. Uh, at least I hope not. Uh, but let's go ahead and exit there and see what we need to do here. So um, we can start kind of breaking off parts here. And shoot that down there. You know, every little bit counts, right? 
All right. So we take a look around and see what we've got on this ship. Not too much. Seems pretty straightforward. All right. Let's see. Probably a couple on the bottom, right? Yep. And bear in mind, I am blind, so if I miss things or if I do things that are a little bit weird or whatever, you know, I apologize, but it's probably due to my vision issues. Alright, so this needs to go to the processor, which is right there. Make sure it gets in there. <laughs> Alright, so that's one. Valuable object processed. Indeed. Valuable object indeed. Okay. So, let us do this same side here. Or do the same to this side, sorry. Is what I meant to say. A little tongue-tied tonight. I've done three three streams today, so... A little, uh... A little tired. <laughs> Hence the reason playing this game. It's nice and relaxing. Okay. There we go. And we should get that moved. Yep. Okay. Try and fire it in the right direction. My character got a little stuck there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So that'll do that one. And then, object processed. Credits awarded. let's see, this is kind of one of those games that, um, you know, at first glance, it seems like it might be a little bit tedious or something like that. But once you get into like doing things in it, um, it's, I mean, there's kind of a Zen quality to it. There really is. It's, it's really, I don't know. It's interesting to me. I like this kind of thing. There's not too much else out there that's like it, really. All right, yeah, we can break these down here. There we go. Again, it's been a little while since I've played, so, you know, just trying to uh, get used to what materials are where and what things look like and all that kind of good stuff. So this needs to go where? Barge? Yeah, barge. All right, let's bring you around here. Secured. Account credit applied. Uh, don't want to break it. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Oxygen level go. stabilizing. May as well grab the fuel too. Have a nice day. Indeed, have a nice day to you too. Okay, so let's get back to it. I've never seen anybody else doing that little trick uh, in all the little let's plays and that kind of thing that I've watched. You know, if you grab hold of something with your tether, you can do the right click and bring yourself uh, that much closer, that much faster. So, I don't know. I've never, I never see people do it that, that uh, doing that though. It's kind of funny. All right, so. Um, Inside, we have these keys that we can break up. There we go. This will take off the front piece. Aim correctly, thank you. There we go. And then, eventually that'll help to push it uh, a little bit away. We might tether it or something like that to pull it apart. Uh, but just kind of breaking it apart a little bit. Seeing what we can do with it. There we go. Yeah, there's the other one. There we go. And that uh, didn't break it. 
There we go. <laughs> All right. And then there should be another one. Yeah, right down here. There we go. Is that a... Did I get it loose? Yeah, that got it loose. Okay. So this would be a processor. Gotta aim it right. <laughs> there we go. Make sure it gets pushed in there. Okay. Okay. So did any of the others break loose? Yeah, this one should, right? It just needed a kickstart. Object accepted for processing. It's a little bit big, so there we go. That'll get there eventually. Okay. So that frees up a little bit more to be able to get some of the other goodies out. Because we can sell those on the barge. <laughs> okay. Salvage this one secured. too. Credits deposited. There we go. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, there's another grab to light, I guess. There we go. <laughs> Salvage deposit accepted. Credit Not worth much, but we'll throw it anyway. Okay, so we can break this one up now. Should uh, should allow it to push out too. Yep. Okay. And that one's a processing one as well, isn't it? No. This. Oh wait. This is a little mix of both, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, where's the barge? There it is. All right. Um. So. Let's see. Part of it is processor. Part of it is furnace. Which parts are the furnace? Is it the main part? I'm trying to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the main part is furnace. We can just throw it there. That little bit of processing stuff is not really worthwhile trying to uh, get it changed. There we go. That'll go in. Okay. So then let us Let's see. What else we got? Oh, we got the nacelle. Okay. So the nacelle should be, yeah, connected right here. Is it connected in another spot? I don't remember. No, that's good. Okay. So we should be able to tether that down to the barge, right? Um, there you go. Go, Nacelle, go. Okay, and then this part. I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your room. Almost got a O2 again, huh? We wrapped. We can do that in a moment. Thank you, Weaver. There we go. Okay. Need to keep an eye on that oxygen <laughs> so we don't get down to this point. Oxygen level stabilizing. Okay. So then... This front piece definitely has broken off quite a bit. Um, I might be able to... I might be able to do something with it now. Um, let's see. Yeah, the airlock for it's right here, right? Yeah. Aim 
correctly. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Then there should be the four on the bottom, right? shows blue, but I don't think it's actually going to. Um, I'm going to have to break a little bit apart off of it first. Yeah. Okay, so this is processing here. And there's nothing else to it that I need to be aware of, right? I don't think so. No. Okay. So we can take that uh, to the processing unit right there. I'll just tether it. That should drag it out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that'll work. I like the fact that they they kind of fixed the tethering a little bit too and Valuable made it uh, made it stronger again. Uh, that's kind of nice. It's useful. <laughs> All right, so can I move this now? I don't think so. No. Okay. We're getting there. I think I need to. Uh, break a couple of things apart in here yet too, don't I? Um, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Um. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Um. This part, this part came loose though, right? Yeah, this part came loose too. So we can go ahead and move that one too. Um, I don't think there's anything on here either, right? Yeah, okay. So let's send this one to the processor. That'll give us that much more room to maneuver around a little bit. We can do it to this side, right? Yeah, do it to that side there. There we go. Go on, little unit. Go on. Make me that money. Object Make me that money. Okay. Credits deposited. So, all of the stuff that's inside. Um, I'd like to get a hold of it to be able to take out individually, but um, I don't want to have to try to take it through this doorway if I don't have to. Um, but I may have to. I think so. Could have had a little bit of lag there or something. <laughs> um, yeah. So okay, did something break in there? Is that what it is? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I think so. Maybe that computer system or something in there did. Cause it suddenly started doing the heavy breathing thing like I like I busted something, but I don't I didn't notice anything busting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't even know if I can slip this through the doorway. Yep, yep, I guess so. Okay. So, okay. Well, that'll work. We can do that. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Anything else super valuable? Sure. We'll take these two. Warning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. <laughs> Salvage okay. deposit accepted. We'll go get Credit oxygen transferred. again. Well 
Welcome to Venditron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Oxygen level stabilizing. Thank you for the stabilization. That is very handy. I will pay you back later. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, so there was one more computer in here, right? Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Drop you off. Cool. So we reached the first little tier there. And then, uh, there's not really much else of value in here, right? I don't think so. Maybe the chairs and stuff, maybe. I suppose. We can throw them at the barge, too. Eh, it gave a little bit. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. It gave a little bit. So, that's not a spot to break, right? I'm just making sure they didn't do something really weird and silly. Nah, it's not a spot. Okay. So, um, I'll just throw the rest of this in the processor. I know there's going to be materials that I technically could do in the furnace and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. I can't really break it apart any further without like cutting it, right? Oh wait, well, no, it's coming apart right now, isn't it? Yeah, okay, well, maybe I can get it over there. Maybe. If I can split it. Uh, no, it's not gonna split, but that's okay, it's fine. It can just go to the processor. I don't mind. It's not optimal, it's not the most efficient, but it'll work. It'll work. It's something. Alright. Credits awarded. Okay. Yep. And then this one. This one. <laughs> there we go. Not sure what else is there. Yeah, we can do that one too. I think there's another one on the other side too that I missed. Um, oh yeah, I thought there was one over here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Well, we'll see in a moment, I guess. All right. So these are starting to come apart. Yeah. Good. Can we get that slipped out? Yep, we can. We'll throw that at the barge then. There we go. Okay. So, this one is pretty much processing material, which is right there, thankfully. <laughs> Tether supplies running low. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I like to use my tethers. Okay, and then object Credits deposited. what do we have next? that break apart yet? Yeah, it did. Okay, good. Is that too? We can do that too. Oh, oh there we go. Where's the processor? There it is. I overshot it. <laughs> In you go. 
I said in you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. So we can get the other nacelle now. Should be able to just aim it. Oxygen at this point. reserves are low. Reminder: asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. There we go. I can get some tethers while I'm over there too. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Welcome to Vendor okay. Oxygen level stabilizing. Let's grab some tethers too. Have a nice day. Cause they're handy dandy. I love my tethers. <laughs> they're very helpful. I missed having them at the beginning stages again. Alright. So, um we got a little bit left. We're getting there. Not sure what's broken up yet or what we need to force to go through. Let's see. Okay, break that point. There we go. Any other points in here? Yeah. A few. Take that one out. And that. Wait, don't want to fire at the fuel tank. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kind of trying to just break it apart a little bit, and that way I can get that fuel tank a little bit easier, maybe. Okay. You just kind of eat it one chunk at a time, right? That's, that's, the, that's the optimal thing to do. Okay, so we can take that to the processor. Should be able to take that to the processor too. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Goodbye, little piece of machinery. All right, so now we can get the fuel tank out. I think. Well, or do we want to do this piece first? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this piece first, just in case we don't want to. We don't want to mess things up. Credits awarded. Don't want to mess things up. Don't want to make things go explodey. Okay. You get it aimed correctly. And in you go. In you go. Alright. Cool. Alright. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right. So what parts do we need? Or what parts are still loose? I don't think there's anything that's actually still loose. I think we've got everything uh, everything there that needs to be there. <laughs> or that can be there. Yeah, because we got to break that part loose yet. Which we should be able to do by doing the same thing that we just did. fuel tank here too, so, okay, uh, get out of the dark, there we go, there we go, okay, so now we should be able to just kind of push these things out of the way a little bit, and get in there, okay, Is that loose, yep, that's loose, okay, there you go, Hoping to get that maxed here, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Yep, he's this too. Okay. And in you go. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Object accepted for process. And grab that fuel tank. And barge it. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go grab some more tethers. Salvage secured. Account credit applied.
And may as well refill the oxygen and fuel while we're here too. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. There you go. Tethers restored. So we're pretty much there. We've got uh, we've got most of it broken apart now. We need to get that little front piece or back piece off there yet, but uh, we're getting there. That's a processed thing. I don't really want to have to do each of the little individual lights. You know, one of the things that I know that some people are complaining about lately is uh, the fact that. The certification stuff has changed around a little bit, and sometimes you feel like you have to like do every single little itty bitty thing. And yeah, that's true. Um, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt <laughs> to do it, but you know, if you gotta, you gotta, right? You gotta do what you gotta do, and you work for the man. And we do indeed work for the man. All right, there we go. Get that out of the way a little. And we should be able to put this into the processor. If we get it aimed correctly. Go in the right spot there. Thank you, kitten. Okay, now. Is this loose yet? I don't think so. Is this loose yet? Nope. Okay. So this one has its spots where it's down here, right? Yeah. And is that it or is there two? Yeah, there's two. There we go. And that's a processor. Get it aimed correctly. Should be able to get the uh, the rest of it processed. loose and Credit done awarded. pretty easily. Any other uh, any other cut spots? Yeah, there's a couple. There we go. somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Okay. So that's not ready to go yet. Uh, I'm probably going to have to tether that whole bit into the furnace once we get this all done and out of the way. Uh, are you moving? Yeah, you're moving, but barely. <laughs> kind of trapped. Okay. There we go. And to the processor you go. Good, Object sir. Accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Okay. So now, yeah, now this piece is nice and loose. And we can send that into the processor too. There we go. Go to your new home. Enjoy. I know there's probably a couple other little bits on there that we could technically sell or put into the furnace, but yeah, I'm not worried about it. Go on. <laughs> yes, slow thing. Okay. So then there are these little bits and bobs that are left. This one is another uh, processor item. Hey, good, we got the max. We got the max. So as you can see, even though I didn't technically get every little single thing, you can still, you know, get that max certification so that you can get the links points to do the upgrades. 
Um, so, you know, it's okay. It's not, it's not optimal, but it's okay. All right, so we should be able to just tether this whole thing into the furnace and be done. Might have to tether it a couple of times, but... Well, maybe it'll get there. Yeah, we'll do it again just to Your oxygen make sure it's there. Are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. And we can go ahead and uh, head over to the place, over to the hab. We'll refill our oxygen, go ahead and do that real fast, but uh, that other piece should just go right on into the furnace. Raw material processed. Yep. Credit positive. There we go. Stabilizing. Okay. There we go. That we ate the basically the whole thing. <laughs> we basically got the whole thing. Other than a little bit of stuff that should have been in the furnace that went into the processor and that sort of thing. But otherwise we got the whole deal. We went a uh, whole hog. <laughs> So not bad, 1.5 million dollar credit, noise. I can deal with that, right? Yeah, yeah, so we got all three. So we ended up with the 30 points. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Okay, well, I think that this will do for tonight, but uh, I wanted to just kind of jump in and see how things went, and uh, yeah, I think it turned out really well, and we were able to get that whole ship done, which I was kind of surprised about, but <laughs> not too bad at all. So, if you guys liked this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. I would really love to know uh, that what I'm doing is something that you're interested in, interested in, and if you did enjoy what I do, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well, because I do come out with new videos all the time and I'd love for you guys to uh, come and be a member of my family and uh, as far as a final thought goes you know one of one of the things I do with every video is give kind of my dad moment and uh, I want to give it right now so you know make sure you guys change your oil and always tip your waitresses and your wait staff and your waiters and and all of that I mean make sure you guys tip it's very important guys you know so anyways, until next time, keep safe out there, have fun, thank you so much as always for watching, and we'll talk to you again later. Hello, Rose. I saw you taking a little detour out there to talk to that overseer of yours. This land is his land, and none else are welcome. Enemy sighted! Guys, they're here! Okay. Oh, I don't know. Where'd you come from? <laughs>